what is going on my cancers my cancers my cancers i am back so soon yes indeed because <laughs> i just dropped y'all bonus video a two hour long bonus video but that video was juicy and if y'all did not see that video go check that video out now i'm not telling you that you have to watch the whole two hour videos because i did put little um time stamps down at the bottom because it's break is i broke it down that's a twin flame bonus reading for the sign of cancers because y'all was most viewed y'all was one of the most viewed so it's broken down by general love divine feminine divine masculine singles and i believe um what would they say like no communication so if y'all did not check that out please check that out and shout out to all of you guys for being consistently one of my most viewed signs i love you guys so 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 very much shout out to all of my new subscribers i love you love you down love you down um if this video resonates make sure if you are not a subscriber that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you're already a subscriber hit the notification bell and if you are a notification subscriber and you have not been getting your notifications unclick it and re-click the button again to regenerate it because YouTube be tripping. Listen, let's get into the festivities. If you want to book a personal or private reading, you can do so by clicking the About tab, all right? There's a hyperlink down there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If um, this video resonates and you want to send a love donation, a dollar, two or three, there's uh, my PayPal information in the description, okay? Hold on, let me take a quick sip. All right, excuse me. So, let's get into the prayer, you guys. Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Thank you so much for all of the insight, for all of, you know, seems like there's been a lot of drama going on in the sign of cancer. I don't know what's about to come out today. Father, let's just, I please, we just going to keep it love, light, positivity, and prosperity. But let's just keep it real with us because we need to know the truth on how to navigate stuff that's going on. I ain't never been no fake person, so give us the rickety real, the raw. And I know we just was talking to you the other day, but Father God, we like talking to you. You know, the cancers, they like having a personal relationship with you like that. We'll talk to you every day, Father. Come on now. Come on, Father. You already know how cancers love you down. We're very emotional. We need, you know. We need special love and attention, Father God. Come on and be with us, Father. Okay, listen. Father, please give the sign of cancer love. Please give the sign of cancer information on how to be successful in business and career and just overall happiness and abundance. They really deserve it. I feel like the sign of cancer has been through a lot. Help us figure out exactly where our heart and our desires lie so we can figure out how to move our feet correctly in that path thank you so much for all of the messages in the past present and future please give the sign of cancer guidance for mid-march the 15th through the 31st thank you again father god all right i'm being guided to pick this up all right let's see give me guidance for cancer mid-march thank you Cancer. Mm. The power of three. Three little witches. Okay. Let me take a quick look just to make sure I'm not tripping. Because I want to say that they're trying to tell you it's time to clean up some stuff, you guys. It is time to clean up. Okay, okay, the three witchy sisters. These three witchy sisters are triplets and they go everywhere together. Each of them works with each other to keep their magical knowledge strong and very grounded and very simple too. Their hats are designed to connect them to celestial knowledge. With all that said, when they take them off, they connect to the earth. And what is said to be below. They are very, very good at sensing what sorts of energy is about. And they often visit people who know that something isn't quite right. 
but they just can't work out what it is. These sisters are like spooky antennas. They use their powerful psychic skills to work out what's really happening. Once they can identify the energy's issue, they can work on the antidote and share the right action with you. Because for every problem exists, the world of magic provides a solution. When your powers are focused in this threefold way, you can create a powerful energy shift in the world around you. And your world, as a result of your consciousness, you choose to create will change. We can sense around you that some strange energy is about. And we are three turning in so that we can identify and explain to you what is happening in the wave of three. Very clearly, very simply, and without any fear at all. Because this problem may not even be a problem at all. It is simply something that you do not understand yet. Let us come in, let us help you, and we will soon share exactly what it is. But you must help us by being aware and awake and alert to what's around you. Something has just happened and will happen twice and will happen three times. Something has already happened and will already, hold on, something has already happened twice and will happen once more. And this something has happened three times and it's now complete. It is finished. Farewell and finally by three who are in charge of these standards of faith that repeat threes to the lesson is learned so okay this is what i'm i'm getting okay so it's time for you guys to clean up something and i feel like cancer it's it's a cycle that you guys been repeating and i feel like y'all might have repeated it three times this might be your third strikeout <laughs> But I feel like you're the third time is the charm. I feel like this time that you really got it. Like you, your antennas are sharp. I feel like you understand why you had to go through the same thing three times in order for you to finally get the big picture and really see what it is that you have to clean up and straighten up in your life for things to get where you want it to be. So let's let's get the energy surrounding these three witch sisters what is the energy surrounding this three witchy sisters what were the three elements that needed focus what did they put their antenna on thank you so much please give me guidance that's the three cards okay rest and rejuvenation a woman holding a heart in reverse and a personal daughter healing. Okay. So I feel like for cancer. I feel like right now the three witchy sisters are trying to tell you the antidote is that you really need to rest and rejuvenate wholeheartedly and truly spiritually and emotionally. And I feel like when you're doing that, that you really need to do some type of meditation so that you can put your own hat on with its own spiritual antenna so that you can tap into your spiritual connection for real. Because I feel like for some of the cancer men that they have been three women in your life, possibly. Okay. Where one relationship ended and the person and the women and the woman end up walking away, taking their heart from you. The one in the middle, I feel like the one that's in the middle I don't know why that one has the eye open. I feel like the second one that took their heart from you, I don't know why you still have your eyes open to that situation. But the first one that you lost, the second one that you lost means a lot to you because your eyes are still open to that situation. The third one that you just lost, I don't feel like you give a fuck about. But at the same time, I feel like there was three situations that happened that, where some woman might have walked away and or you are the woman that walked away. You're a cancer woman and you had three different situations that are so similar. Same shit, different toilet. But I feel like this one right here, the middle was the eye opener. And I feel like that was the one that woke you up. But still, you ended up tr attracting the same thing again because you were asleep. 
You know, and I don't, you know, I hope that you understand what I'm saying. When you, the first situation was devastating, right? But the third situation, it was just like that one was really catastrophic. And you never thought that you would go through that situation ever. Or that you, you, I don't think that you even realized that you would get out of the situation. It was a very eye opening to you. And I feel like you repeated the cycle yet again with your eyes closed. But something, something about this middle situation is the true awakening, you know, throughout this whole situation. If that's making any sense. I'm hoping I'm making any sense. I'm hoping that I'm making any sense. But you had to go through this three times. You have to go through this three times. And I'm looking at the number nine. I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like. Nine months was spent. Nine months was spent. Or 19 months was spent. Nine and 19 months was spent in this situation. I don't think that it's been. Anything longer than that. Nine to 19 months was spent in this situation. You need to rest and rejuvenate because I feel like so many people have taken their heart from you or you've had to take your heart from so many people because you kept repeating the lesson and you weren't getting it. Like you weren't getting it. And it's something that's making you go back. Something about that second situation that I feel like there's a personal door to happiness and healing in that. I don't feel like I feel like it's the answer lies somewhere in that second situation. That second situation where the eyes are open, I feel like you need to go back to that situation and figure out the answer is there. Find out why you had to take your heart away from that person. Because the first situation, all right, you didn't know no better. The last situation I don't even I don't I don't know why your eyes is closed in that situation. But you need to go back. The antenna is pointing to that middle situation. Find out why that person had to take their heart back from you. That is the key. And I feel like that'll give you that peace to that daughter. Let me figure out what's going on, y'all. Cause I'm just like, I'm just, you know. I feel like cancer has been going through a process right now where they have just been doing a lot of meditating and they've been thinking about a lot of love loss, a lot of love loss. Why did I have to take my heart out of this situation? Why can't I find love? Why can't like none of my relationships like really be successful? And right now cancer, they're just really, really focusing on this daughter personal healing and happiness right now. They just want to be happy. They just want to feel free. You know, they just want to be happy. And it's and, and, and I feel like cancer does want to open up their heart. They do want to give their heart to someone for these cancer women. And I feel like these cancer men, they do want to be able to obtain a woman's heart and keep it and not make mistakes. These Whatever this cycle is that they're going through two, three, or four, or five goddamn times, this, this fucking conflict. Y'all keep going through these constant conflicts and battles. And I feel like right now cancer is constantly... Right now, going through a current battle where they feel like they had to take up arms. I feel like you're having to defend yourself. I feel like maybe people are coming to you with gossip and rumors, and you're feeling like, well, what the fuck are y'all talking? What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you had to pick up your damn armor. You're like, hold on, let me protect my head from this foolishness. You see how he has his little thing on his head? It's like, I don't even want to hear this shit. I don't even want to hear this shit. I don't even want to hear this. What is this? This is the lover's card. You might be dealing with a Gemini, okay? So, this is the lover's and this is happiness, okay? So, I feel like... Let me get some additional guidance. Because why is there... There's, there's, there's a conflict with a current lover. That you, 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 you seem to be happy there. But there's a lot of confusion. Because there's a lot of options on the table as well. I feel like there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of gossip going on. And you didn't have to take up arms and defend yourself. Ooh, there's some gossip that you've been out there in the streets with your meats. You've been out there giving out street meat cancer. 
Cancer have been out there giving out street meat, and I feel like there's a lot of gossip and confusion that's um, getting in the middle of the way of this, of this happy environment with this with this Gemini, with this Gemini, with this lover's call. Mm-hmm. And they're like, not again. I know I'm not going through this shit again. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if... I feel like what cancer is doing throughout this rest and rejuvenation, I feel like the last situation that they that they just because it's just them currently being guarded. So I feel like they might be going through something currently where they're having to deal with some type of verbal battle with somebody that is their current lover. That is their current lover. And they're trying to pet this person. They're trying to uh, <laughs> uh, brother y'all's hilarious and shit out here with this shit all right ain't nothing else coming out so listen like i said it's a current battle going on with your with your lover possibly a gemini okay she's your lover right now and it's a lot of confusion going on where you felt like you have to take up arms and defend yourself okay and only thing you really want is happiness. You just want happiness and you're trying to tame this animal because you're just like, look, I just want peace and I just want joy. I don't know what was illuminated to you where I'm having to defend myself right now. But baby, I love you. Like, what are you tripping on? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, you know, like they're trying to figure out, like, why am I going through this shit again or whatever? And this Gemini or whoever you're dealing with, they're like, because... I heard that you have a lot of options out there and you're possibly out there running around with your magic stick, putting that fiery wood in someone else's goddamn fireplace, bitch. That's because you got all these options and you've been acting real funny lately. As you can see, this person look like he acted funny as hell. Look at him. He look about back shit crazy. Look at that. Look at him. You been acting real funny. You been drinking a lot. Okay? You been acting real feisty and fiery. You been very argumentative. I don't know why. You very in and out. One minute we cool. One minute you acting like you confused. You don't know if you want to be here. Like what the fuck is going on? This is what cancer is dealing with. And cancer is like, but, but, bitch, look, look. Why, why am I having to defend myself right now? I thought we was in love. I thought we was happy. Whoever they dealing with is like, um, no. I heard about this shit that you was doing out there in the street. Because you, you got options and you out there with your magic stick. Because that's what I heard. <laughs> and cancer is like, I know. I know I'm not going through this shit again, Lord Jesus. <sighs> Father, please help me. I just need, mm-mm, mm-mm. Am I going through this yet again? I feel like I just went through this shit. I feel like I just went through this shit. I just want happiness. <laughs> like, I just want happiness right now. Let's find out what's going on with cancer, y'all. Because, like, this person, ever this person is a complete fucking looney tune. Because for y'all to be in love and there to be happiness right there, for cancer to feel like there's love and happiness right there on their part, why is there... Like, cancer, do you have other options? Are you confused because you have other options? Have you been out there? Passionate? Running around? Fiery? Fire in desire? And now you're confused because you got all this stuff? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. I, mm -mm, hold on. I was looking at this deck first. Let me not go against my intuition. Father, Father please give me some intuition in regards to love. For cancer. And nostalgia. Somebody still got cancer's heart in their hand. They're confused because I feel like it's something that. It's something. Something from the past that still got cancer's heart in their hand. Somebody, it's something or somebody that makes them 
that makes them feel playful, that make that remind it's something from their I feel like it's something, something in the past. What is confusing cancer is something in the past. Something that's still, something or someone that's still in lack of patience. There's, okay. There's something or somebody from the past that still has cancer's heart in their hand, okay? And I feel like it's something that's been triggering them to think back to this thing in the past. Something or someone that they were dealing with when they were younger, possibly before, whatever the current situation is. And I feel like whoever this person was, make them feel like a child again. They feel like they see the sun, they see the light. It's like a childness, like a playfulness, a loving... You know, I, I, I feel like this, uh, um, this person brings out their inner child. Like seriously, this person makes them laugh. But whatever this person will not forget, it's something cancer did that this person will never forgive them. Will never forgive them. And I feel like there's a lack of patience. What are you trying to be patient about, cancer? And what are you confused about? What are you confused about? If you're in love and if you're happy. What are you confused about? What is this running around? What is this passionate running around about with these various options? If you're in love and if you're happy, what's, what's going on? Because you know how I said it in the past. Cancer always got to have options to make them feel fulfilled. I don't know why. And when someone, they didn't have a lack of patience, they're waiting on a return from somebody that they really admired. Somebody from the past. But they don't know how to compromise in that situation. Well, you don't know how to compromise in what situation? Give me some additional. Please give me some guidance about this person that Cancer is in love with. Met this person in the fall. Please give me information about this person, this current lover, this current lover that there's happiness with. Give me information about this current lover. Third party. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel like the current partner was someone that they met during the fall. Someone that they met during the fall. I feel like this person, like, it's like stalking trying to find out about the third party yeah the person that they're with now they feel like there's a third party lessons yeah all this is lessons your family fifth dimension all right so this is what i'm getting y'all okay so like i said it's somebody from the past. The reason why cancer is confused. And. The reason why cancer is confused. Alright. And what is causing the confusion. I don't even necessarily know if there is a third party. But there is. There has been some passionate running around. So. And third party did pop out there. So. Either. Either. And this is what I'm getting off. So I'm feeling like cancer is having to defend itself, even though that this is someone that they truly love and they're happy in this situation. But there's confusion because there was many options before where there was a lot of passionate running around and a lot of noncommittal cheating. And I do feel like for some reason that there's a big energy of a person from the past being here that cancer is wanting to return that they admire a lot. But they know that this person is not willing to compromise because the person that I feel like cancer was is recently with or this person that their, their current lover. This current lover, I feel like is insecure because they know that they came into the situation as a third party in the, in the fall.
And this is to teach that person a lesson. <laughs> to not fuck with people, family. Because this is about fifth dimensional universal law. You know, it's about universal law. It don't matter what you do. You can't break someone's bond. Do you understand? You cannot break this bond. This is a spiritual connection. And it, it didn't matter. Even if they came in the middle of this connection with whoever this person that cancer is tripping on from the past. Because cancer is definitely tripping on somebody from the past. But it might be all in their mind. I think that cancer is just in their mind and maybe just disconnecting their self. From whoever they've been currently with. Because they can't stop thinking about the past. And I do feel like Cancer was doing some whole ass shit in the past. Where they were confused by a lot of options. And they're having to defend their self for that shit now. But they're currently in love and they're happy. And I don't even feel like they're cheating on nobody. They're just tripping thinking about this person from the past. Because they want this person from the past to return to them. And they admire this person a lot. But they know that this person won't compromise and give and put up with their bullshit. And this person that they met in the, in the fall. I feel like this person that they met in the fall. This person that they're currently with. This person is just like snooping. Double tripping. Like, like tripping. Snooping. Big time. And that's why this person has been snapping out on cancer. Because it's just like. I feel like you've been out there. Horning around and shit. Because. Why? Because you know that you met this person. Off some third party shit. Now if this don't resonate with you. Don't take it. But now if you knew. That you fucking with cancer. And cancer had somebody else. And you took this person from cancer. Did you really. Take the person for cancer if the only thing cancer is thinking about is this person from the past. Everything. I feel like stuff on the radio, stuff on the TV, stuff on the internet makes them remember about this person from the past that still holds their heart. That brings out their inner child. This person that will not forgive them for this third party. And I feel like the person that cancer is currently with now... It's like obsessively, like can't stop. I'm taking this right here. Like they can't stop. You know what I'm saying? Searching online. Trying to figure out where this third party energy is coming from. Because they feel like something is getting the fuck in the way. Something the fuck is getting the fuck in the way of this relationship with them with cancer. And they feel like the, oh, this whole situation is a, is a lesson. Because they should have never involved themselves in this family. You should have never involved yourself in this family. Regardless if you got them in the physical, you couldn't get them in the spiritual sense. Hmm. Please give me guidance in regards to love for cancer. Please give me guidance in love for cancer for mid-March. Finances and career. Oh, okay. It says finances and career are affecting your life and your love life, Cancer. So I feel like a lot of moves that you've been making in regards to love are based off of your finances and career. Okay. You might have made a move in regards to love based off of a financial move. I don't feel like you're expressing yourself in love right now. I feel like you're focused on your money. You're focused on your money and you're making moves in love right now based on your finance and career. I don't know why I feel like that. Why do I feel like that? Is that what y'all been doing? You're not ex You're not been you haven't been loving yourself first. It's telling you that you need to love yourself first. Come on, Cancer. And you need to stop being codependent. Yeah, like I'm really getting this shit and you need to let go of control issues. You need to retreat from your current situation. And you need to release yourself from your ex. I can't make that up. You done been through this. You done been through this once. What you done been through once. You done been through twice. Or what you done been through twice. You done been through three times. And this is the completion of the cycle. The person that you currently with. You are only with them right now. Because it financially benefits you. Okay. I feel like that's the only reason why Cancer is holding on to this situation. And you're not even expressing your love to this, situ to this person because you don't love this person. Oh my goodness. 
love yourself first cancer because if you truly loved yourself first you wouldn't be lowering yourself to shit like this okay you uh, stop getting yourself in codependent situations where you're only with them because you need them for something that's not love and you know that shit ain't love you need to let go of trying to control everything that's going on in the universe let true love come to you do you understand what I'm saying? Retreat from this situation and let go of your ex. You got to let this shit go, Cancer. And you need to rebirth yourself completely anew. Completely the freak anew. Let's um get one more spread. Then I'm up out of here. All right. Thank you so much. Please give me some additional guidance for the sign of Cancer for mid-March. And then we'll be up out of here. Thank you so much. Please give cancer guidance. Mid-March. What's that? The two of cups. In you're not in love no more in the hangman in reverse. And you're getting yourself from being hung up from this situation. You don't want to be involved in this situation no more. You don't love this person no more. Whoever this person that you're currently with, you don't love this person no more. Because you're, you're constantly thinking about your ex. And you need to let your ex go. You know that this person is not going to forgive you. Give me one more guidance from, from the angels. Give me some angel guidance and then we up out of here. And then we really up out of here. Thank you. Give me cancel angel guidance. Mid-March. Crystal clear intentions. You need to figure out what you really want. Look. You've been everywhere. You've been everywhere that I wish I didn't care. I'm going to let that ride out for a second. And whoever the cross watcher is, if y'all went and y'all got yourself in a third party situation thinking that you won some prize and that you won somebody from cancer, did you really win? Their spirit was somebody else. His spirit was with someone else. I love you guys. I hope this video resonated. Oh, cancer, let it go. And let me tell you something. That cycle is done. You done been through it too many times. I think you learned your lesson. And that was the whole thing. This is about lessons. Paying attention to your true family. Don't sacrifice your family for temporary pleasures, y'all. I love y'all. I only be with people for love. This video resonated. Hit that thumbs up button, y'all. If y'all want a personal, y'all hit me. Alright? And hopefully y'all get the most viewed again. Get y'all another long-ass video. We gonna go deep. We gonna deep dive, bitch. Alright, y'all. Hopefully by then I have my new... Um, I'm trying to get me some new decks, you guys. So hopefully by the time that video is ready and I'm ready to record, you know... Thank you guys for all of the donations and PayPal. Thank you so much. Because as y'all sending me... The money and PayPal for the love donations. I've been saving them up to get more decks and things of that nature. So, um, if you guys are the most viewed, you guys might be able to be the first um, sign that gets that roll out of the new decks. I love you guys. Love, light, and positivity. All right? Peace.